Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthers. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Demolition Hound in the Jim Kai Weapons Rack Shadow type. Or Shadows, plural. Uh, that is a 300 support that was previously a clan match suit, and last week or the week before was uh, the limited mission prize. And uh, it has a couple of interesting things. It has the Hyper Bazooka Modified, I believe it is, that the uh, Jim Kai and Power Jim use, uh, or a version thereof, not sure which on that. It has a uh, shrapnel uh, version uh, of it on top of which, which does pretty good damage and build stun if you can uh, land it, and fires very quickly. And it has a very large grenade with a pretty solidly big area of effect. I'm trying to remember if it stuns or not, but I'm sure we'll see that before the round is over. But yeah, it's got a lot going for it, and uh, I, I've tried it a couple of times. I was trying to get around with it when Demo offered me this, which I'm very grateful for, and it is a lot of fun. So yeah, as you can see, he just did a ton of damage to uh, whatever that happened to be. And yeah, that's that's the kind of AoE. As you can see, it was the uh, mobile suit that he just killed was way off to the right uh, compared to where you know, the range of most grenades, and yeah, it, it hit fair and square, and that was a kill. Uh, this is, I believe, a simple battle, so you can spawn from anywhere at any time. Good use of the shrapnel to take out that Thunderbolt Agai, which I'm not sure which uh, Thunderbolt Agai it was, but uh, I definitely had a hard time with the raids, so good thing to get rid of very quickly. Yep, more more quality splash damage there. That's great. Yeah, this thing is really, really effective uh, in the right circumstances. Like I said, I was not able to fi uh, find those. Luckily, Demo was. And yeah. Okay, yeah, the, the uh, shrapnel actually uh, hit two different targets there. Only did 78 to one of them. That's still pretty good. And grenade out. And that's another kill with the grenade. Yeah, that, that grenade is really good if you can uh, land it. And yeah, he managed to uh, melee that Zaku before it could do anything particularly horrible. That's good. Yeah, good damage from the grenade too, as you can see. 2614 is what that was, I believe. Let's see, I'm pretty sure he might be able to kill that. Nope, not quite. One shot shy, probably, maybe two. But, uh, you know, he has had a really good first life there, so nothing, uh, nothing wrong with that. And, you know, did really well for having like six hit points left. Since this is a very low cost and a simple battle, that uh, means respawning almost instantaneously. And, yep, time to go back and lob some more grenades. I, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the kind of AoE I'm talking about. It is, it is one of the best, uh... One of the best ranges for a grenade I've seen. It's probably better than the uh, Gundam's original Super Napalm range, which was, at the time, pretty outrageous. Right now, I think if you wanted to bring the Gundam back up to speed, you could probably put that Super Napalm back to its original range on that rifle. It's not the only thing I, you know, I'd recommend for it, but it would be a start. Also, since it's Super Napalm, like, having it be either one of the... Uh, you know, flame-based effects would be nice. Either damage over time or, you know, damage field on the ground. Either one could be appropriate. And, yep, uh, managed to just uh, hammer that one person's legs with the shrapnel bazooka, and, yeah, they tried to move and they fell on their face. That is, yeah, that is how, how the shrapnel bazooka works. Well, most of them. Uh, I, the... The long-range shrapnel bazookas are my favorite, the ones that uh, operate more like the, you know, the Gundam Mark II's, the Rick Diaz's, those, um, which works really well on the Barzam Custom, incidentally. But, or do I have the wrong Barzam? Might be the regular brain. Anyway, um, but yeah, it, the, of course, the other way they uh, sometimes do the shrapnel bazooka is to just have it operate as a shotgun. Uh, both uh, both types of uh, uh, of pellet use were animated in Zeta Gun, to my recollection. So yeah, the, the, both are accurate. So it'd be interesting if you could switch between those on on some suit. Have a you know delayed reaction pellet or a uh, or a shotgun style, depending on what you were uh, going for. I think that would be neat. But 
Yeah, generally right now, it just varies from suit to suit. And that... Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit. Ooh, that Afrit was uh, was uh, on the ball. Like, just... If it had hesitated for a frame in any direction, I'm pretty sure Demo would have killed it. Right now, I'm pretty sure that uh, if no, if somebody else on Demo's team gets to it before he gets back in, it is just very dead. We'll find out in a second. Number one is the only one left, and they have no health, so it all depends on who gets who first. Uh, it was, unfortunately, the Efreet, which... The Efreet does have a smoke dispenser, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, just hanging back until the mine layer is out of the way. There's a couple uh, good kills coming up. Got that with the tackle. And yeah, the uh, other Efreet is just desperately trying to keep a, a somebody from killing that low health uh, mobile suit, but it is dead. And the only thing left is this Agai. Yeah, uh, Demo's team has it in the bag. Really, really great round. And yeah, this thing's a lot of fun. I hope everybody who wanted it was able to get it. Likewise, Makuve's Goof. I got the first level. I am probably not going to have time to grind out the various points and things I'd need for the second. But that's okay. Yeah, 82,000 damage at 300, 2780 out of 650, 8 and 2. That is a really great round. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I'm really glad that uh, clan match suits and token packs are keeping the lower costs alive. Though, as I've said before, I would love to see uh, 200, you know, just revitalized by Gundam the Origin suits and bring that cost back into play. I guess they're afraid of too, you know, broad a spread of point values at any given time. But again, I really uh, like 200 and I would not mind seeing it back.